the red shoes. Once upon a time, a pretty girl lived in a land not far away. She had one pair of shoes made out of wood, boringly plain and gray. They hurt her little feet. They made it hard to walk. Yet she never, ever cried. Then one fine day, she got a box with the most beautiful red shoes inside. She put the shoes on and <coughs> ran up to her mommy, who was very, very ill. She didn't take them off that day or that night and thought she never will. Her mommy passed away a few days later, and the girl was very sad. An old, large lady took her in, gave her a new home and a bed. The girl went to school to learn to read and write, and she went to church to pray. But she kept thinking of the shiny red shoes that the old lady had thrown away. As time went by, the pretty little girl grew and grew and grew. Her new boring shoes got small and old, and the lady took her to get some new. Now, the old lady had gotten older, and her sight had gotten bad. So the girl knew she wouldn't notice yeah. if the shoes she picked were red. And once again, she had red shoes and took them off only at night. She even put them on for church, which, of course, was not all right. She knew it was disrespectful. She knew it was bad. And she knew that people stared. Yet she wore them always, week after week. It wasn't like she cared. But then one Sunday, a bearded soldier waited at the church's door. He whispered something about the vain girl's shoes, and they started dancing on the floor. They danced and danced. She danced along. They danced in church and out. She didn't want to, but she couldn't stop. She could only pout. They danced all day, they danced all night, and then they danced some more. She was exhausted, but somehow managed to dance to the executioner's door. Take them off, she screamed in pain. Even if you have to cut off my feet. She wanted them off. She wanted them to stop, so she could lay, or at least sit. And so he did, but the two red shoes continued to dance away. The tired girl knew it was time to go to church and pray, and pray, and pray. She walked slowly, a crutch in each hand. She walked the whole day, maybe more. But she couldn't enter the church as her red shoes were dancing in front of the door. She tried the next week, and then again, but she could never get inside. She became a maid at the pastor's home, hoping to repent before she died. One Sunday, as always, they all went to church, but the girl stayed in her room. She prayed as an angel appeared in the light, surrounded by flowers in bloom. He had heard her repent and knew it was honest, so he brought the church there. The girl was lifted towards the sky, happy to see her feet finally bare. 